The long-awaited Sim Update 3 has released and one of the most anticipated features is the ability to download content instead of streaming it. In this video I'll give you reasons why you'd want to do this, how you can download content from the marketplace and finish off with why you might not want to do this. Starting off with reasons why you'd want to download marketplace content versus streaming it. If you have a monthly internet data cap or you have low bandwidth, having items downloaded can keep you from having to upgrade your data plan or having a rough experience with aircraft and sceneries loading. Note, you'll always need an internet connection in order to play MSFS 2024. Now to download your content, you'll want to go to Marketplace, then into My Library. Now you'll want to go to Streamed. And then you can check off any item you want to, uh, to download and install. So we're going to scroll down here. We've got uh, Atlanta International Airport and the Carinado PC-12. So we're gonna check these two off. And you can see here at the bottom, you have disable, or you can have download. We're gonna download them. It'll take a few minutes. That will download. Now the downloads are complete, they're ready to install. So we can check on both of these. Click on install, and it'll take a, a minute to, to install. So now we can go to the install tab and we'll find them both here, the Atlanta International Airport and the PC-12. You'll also find it in your official 2024 folder. So the easiest way to get there is to go up one folder from your community folder, then official 2024, then one store, and it will be there. And I'm not gonna give you the exact path because it all depends on how you installed it, whether you're on Steam or in the store. Did you have the alpha version uh, back, uh, you know, last uh, summer? So, uh, but yeah, that's the easiest way is go up one from your community folder and then go into official 2024 folder and then one store and you'll find all your downloaded and installed uh, aircraft sceneries, all that there. Now you might not want to download content because it will slow down your sim loading time, especially if you've downloaded all the world updates, aircraft, and some marketplace purchased items. The sim has to verify those files on startup, so it's unnecessarily being slowed down for content you probably won't fly. Streaming content doesn't affect your loading time, just your data usage which you can set up monitoring in the data settings. If you do decide to go back to streaming, you can always do so by going back into the marketplace, my library, into the install tab, and then you can check off the items, in this case, Atlanta and the PC-12. We're going to uninstall them. This will remove it from your hard drive and move it back to stream content. At this point, you can always go back to streamed, find it, check it off and then disable it if you're never going to fly with that aircraft or scenery you can just disable it that's it for this video if you found it helpful make sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button for more flight simulation content thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in this next video